In the dead of night, with the moon shrouded by ominous clouds, a small house stood silently at the edge of a dense forest. Within its walls, a family slept, unaware of the horrors that awaited them. The parents, exhausted from the toils of the day, lay in a deep slumber in their bedroom, while their only child, a young boy named Nathan, slept soundly in his own room down the hall. As the clock struck midnight, an unsettling chill swept through the house, causing Nathan to stir in his sleep. His dreams took a dark turn, filled with shadowy figures and haunting whispers that seemed to beckon him from the depths of his subconscious. Suddenly, Nathan's eyes snapped open, his heart racing as he found himself standing at the threshold of his parents' bedroom. Confusion clouded his mind as he struggled to remember how he had gotten there. With trembling hands, he pushed open the door and stepped inside, the room bathed in an eerie glow cast by the faint light of the moon filtering through the curtains. His parents lay motionless in their bed, their faces peaceful in sleep. Nathan's gaze shifted nervously around the room, his senses on high alert as he felt an inexplicable sense of dread wash over him. It was then that he heard it, a soft rustling coming from the corner of the room. Heart pounding, Nathan turned to see a shadowy figure lurking in the darkness, its form twisted and contorted in an unnatural manner. Terror gripped him as he realized that this was no ordinary intruder. It was something far more sinister, something from the depths of his nightmares. Who are you? Nathan whispered, his voice barely audible in the stillness of the night. The figure remained silent, its eyes gleaming with malevolent intent as it advanced slowly towards him. Nathan's instincts screamed at him to run, to flee from the encroaching darkness, but his body refused to obey. Frozen in place, he watched helplessly as the figure drew closer, its presence suffocating him like a thick fog. And then, just as Nathan felt the icy grip of fear tighten around his throat, the figure spoke, a voice like gravel scraping against stone, filled with malice and cruelty. I'm sorry. The devil told me, it hissed, its words sending shivers down Nathan's spine. With a sudden burst of adrenaline, Nathan broke free from his paralysis and bolted from the room, his screams echoing through the house as he fled down the hallway. He didn't stop until he reached the safety of his own room, where he huddled in the corner, trembling with fear. For hours, Nathan lay awake, listening to the sounds of the night, his mind consumed by terror. Eventually, exhaustion overcame him, and he drifted into a fitful sleep, haunted by nightmares of the shadowy figure and its chilling words. When morning dawned, Nathan emerged from his room, his eyes red-rimmed and his body weary from lack of rest. His parents greeted him with concern, their faces etched with worry as they questioned him about the events of the night before. But try as he might, Nathan could not bring himself to speak of the terror he had encountered in his parents' room, for he knew deep down that some horrors were best left buried in the darkness, lest they consume us whole. And so, he remained silent, haunted by the memory of the devil's whispered words, forever echoing in the recesses of his mind. As days turned into weeks, Nathan tried to convince himself that what he had experienced was merely a nightmare, a figment of his overactive imagination. Yet, the memory lingered like a dark stain, tainting his every thought and filling him with a sense of unease that refused to dissipate. Night after night, Nathan found himself plagued by restless sleep, his dreams tormented by visions of the shadowy figure and its sinister words. Each time he closed his eyes, he was transported back to that fateful moment in his parents' room reliving the terror anew. Desperate for respite, Nathan sought solace in the daylight hours, immersing himself in distractions to numb the gnawing fear that gnawed at his sanity. But no matter how hard he tried to bury his demons, they always found a way to claw their way back to the surface. As weeks turned into months, Nathan's behavior grew increasingly erratic, his once bright demeanor overshadowed by a palpable sense of paranoia. His parents watched helplessly as their son withdrew into himself, his once vibrant personality fading like a dying ember. Then, one fateful night, as the moon hung low in the sky and the shadows danced along the walls, Nathan awoke to find himself once again standing at the threshold of his parents' room. Only this time, he was not alone. The shadowy figure stood before him, its form twisted and contorted in a grotesque parody of humanity. Nathan's heart hammered in his chest as he stared into the abyss of its eyes, knowing that he stood on the precipice of something far more sinister than he could ever imagine. I'm sorry, the figure whispered its voice a chilling echo of the night. The devil told me. With a cry of terror, Nathan stumbled backward, his mind reeling as he struggled to comprehend the nightmare unfolding before him. But no matter how hard he tried to escape, he found himself trapped in a waking nightmare from which there was no escape. In the darkness of the night, Nathan's screams echoed through the house, a haunting melody of fear and despair that went unanswered. For in the end, some horrors are too terrifying to confront, and some demons too powerful to vanquish. 
and as Nathan descended into the abyss of madness, he knew that he would never again find peace in the embrace of sleep. As Nathan's screams pierced the silence of the night, his parents awoke in a panic, their hearts racing with fear and confusion. Rushing to their son's room, they found him curled up in a ball on the floor, tears streaming down his face as he muttered incoherently. Frantically, they tried to comfort him, to coax the truth from his trembling lips, but Nathan could only shake his head in terror, his eyes wide with a terror beyond comprehension. In that moment, they realized that something dark and sinister had taken hold of their son, something that defied rational explanation. With a heavy heart, Nathan's parents sought help from every source they could find, doctors, therapists, even priests, but no one could offer them solace in the face of the inexplicable horrors that plagued their son. And as the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, they watched helplessly as Nathan slipped further and further away from them, consumed by the darkness that lurked within. In the end, they were forced to accept that there was no saving their son, no escaping the clutches of the demons that tormented him. And so, with heavy hearts and tear-streaked faces, they made the agonizing decision to send Nathan away, to a place where perhaps, just perhaps, he might find the peace that had eluded him for so long. But even as Nathan disappeared into the depths of the institution, his parents knew that their nightmare was far from over. For the memory of their son's terrified screams haunted them still, a grim reminder of the darkness that lurked just beyond the edge of their reality, waiting patiently to claim its next victim. And so, as they lay awake at night, staring into the darkness with haunted eyes, they whispered a silent prayer for their lost son, hoping against hope that somewhere, somehow, he might find the redemption they could not give him. But deep down, they knew that some demons were too powerful to be vanquished, and some nightmares too terrifying to be forgotten. Like, subscribe, and click on notifications that will allow you to stay up to date with the news and not miss videos from the channel, where there will be many more horror stories.